guys are watching Tech Ed TV. This is Ricardo Hernandez, and today, the next generation television. Watch next. Consumer Electronics Show not, not too long ago, and I learned a ton. And one of the things that I, I was very impressed with was the next generation television, because this is a game changer. I've been in media, I've been in streaming, I've been learning everything about platforms, and it's not because cloud to cable <laughs> basically followed the design of methodologies that uh, uh, next generation television follow, but this is how it works. Well, this is the evolution of the, uh, the digital terrestrial broadcast standard that uh, replaced uh, analog television about you know, 15, 20 years ago. Correct. Um, so this is the new uh, standard that has enhanced technology that allows broadcasters to send additional information through their broadcast stream over the top. Okay. Um, some of that information includes uh, uh, web-enabled, IP-enabled information that can send URLs and web uh, sites to um, to the television. So you can see the TV over there that you're um, looking at now. Right. Uh, the, the widgets on the left are um, web uh, stories widgets. that you can widgets that you can click on, and that if your TV is um, is web-enabled, you can view that content right on your television as opposed to having to go to the internet to. to so we interviewed Mr. Uh, Nolan here from the ATSC uh, organization, and he gave us uh, an explanation that um, you can see right now. Check it out. But, um, for the most part, the, the, the stuff that's on in there is going to be um, is going to be web uh, web uh, type stuff. But what you would be able to see, you would be able to get. Um, on this TV, you see the 4K HDR yeah. uh, broadcast. So if a broadcast is coming over in 4K, right, and you've got the 3.0 receiver, uh, then you would you would get the, the, the nice clear picture that you're seeing there. You gotcha. also get audio enhancements um, because you have Dolby, uh, Dolby AC4. AC4 exactly. Um, and one of the features uh, being demonstrated over there is the voice boost that's going to uh, raise. Um, the human voice over background noise, like oh, the okay, okay. It's there that's making a lot of noise, and the announcer's trying to talk over it. This way, you can elevate the announcer's voice so you can hear it over all that background noise. Yes, that was interesting, right? So now your TV will be able to have web widgets. You will be able to have um, all the interactiveness that you have in today's smart TVs. However, there's one little thing you don't need internet because your TV has an IP layer. As you see in the following chart right here that I'm presenting on the screen, then uh, the ATAC 3.0 standard or the next generation television is already IPTV. Take a look at that. So the bottom layer is the broadcast layer that is uh, on an orthogonal multiplexing. In other words, it has uh, uh, the same functionality that we see in, um, in 4G. So the bit rate and the modulation is copied from the 4G world and the 5G world. And that brings the speed up substantially from what originally the, the previous modulation provided. Plus you have um, some additional performance improvements in terms of polarization. So your antenna will be able to have better performance and you don't have to be moving that antenna around like you used to do before. Like in the, in the past, it would be like with your antenna left and right right and left and then maybe you catch two or three channels and you don't let them catch the fourth one but you're happy because you caught three no no that's not going to happen anymore hopefully not at the same time then you receive everything in 4k so you have 4k television so you have basically the benefit of broadcasting and the benefits of over the top all in one platform so there are three types of service that the tsc 3.0 provides number one is that this uh, in linear television are HTML5 applications with JavaScript, for example, and those are interactive widgets. So you can have your weather widget, your, I don't know, your infomercials or your maybe even Google ads, possibly. Um, we do not know yet because this is still uh, uh, being launched. But uh, one of the things that we definitely know is the IP layer will include like what's called a multicast system. 
So in other words, what's going to happen is that uh, um, that each television sub channel will be broadcast in a different multicast address. So when you receive that on your television, then you should be able to decide what to watch when based on the multicast address that is being received by the TV. That means that you can have a multicast address that contains, for example, your pilot signal that has maybe the audio signal for on uh, something or everything comes bundled in one. And there are three types of services that they, the specification reads. The first one is a linear service and a linear enhanced service or an application service. That means that you should be able to download applications to watch linear television, just like you watch today, or linear enhanced television that you just watching television and like everybody's doing right now, they'll pull up the laptop and they want to see what's going on with that car. They want to see what's going on with that uh, movie star. Would they want to see the score of the other game? They want to see where their standing is uh, based on the current score. Those things are just going to pop on your screen and you should be able to interact with them. You should be able to see the tweets. You should be able to see everything overlaid on top of the application, depending on how the TV broadcaster creates the app. So there will be something called the broadcasting application and there will be something called the receiver application. The broadcasting application is what we'll see on your TV and you don't need to have an inter internet capable television. I mean, you don't need to have an internet service on your television to, to receive that. In other words, this information is going to be rendered over the air into your TV without major uh, um, components. So in other words, everything is going to come in an HTML site that is downloaded from your television to the TV and render there. That's option one. Option two is that your television has a, an internet capability, what we call the broadband. I'm going to present here again, here they says HTTPS, TCP, IP, unicast, and broadband phi or broadband physical layer. What that means is that your television then will be able to retrieve the signal that comes from over the air for free, and that will have tags and URLs and links to things that you can connect over the HTTP la layer to the broadband. So that means that, for example, you could be able to see this show and somebody will say, well, in Ticket TV, Edwin Hernandez was saying that, that uh, this and that, and maybe they have like a 30 second uh, 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 extract or summary of what I said, but then they will just put the link to the YouTube video. So you click there, launch YouTube, watch it on YouTube or watch it within the same app, depending on how they do it and um, that's the new interactivity so let's say that you're watching uh, um, for example the spider-man movie right that's coming from the the broadcast and maybe you're like you know what i want to see the spider-man 2 i want to see spider-man 3 i want to see the dialogues from from this movie in the past i want to see the interviews with uh, the the director I want to see J.D. Abrams, Abrams for Star Wars. I want to see, I don't want to see the movie. I want to see the, the interviews. So you should be able to see all that, although in the linear channels doing that, then you should be able to retrieve the link to the video where you should be able to download now that other part. Or maybe it could be part of the broadcast. We do not know. So that's what the, the next generation television is doing. And according to the ATAC 3.0 people, this is going to be ready now. That is being tested in cities like Phoenix, Arizona, is being tested in uh, other parts of the country, and that's uh, that's what we have today. The good thing about this is that all the technology that we have learned thus far, on developers HTML5, for example, can be reused, and now we can bring it to the TVs uh, uh, around the world, and we should be able to create these web widgets at, um, in a crazy way. In a way, like let's say all the viewing time that Google is receiving from YouTube might be compromised in a way, because now you're watching this on YouTube or you're watching this on uh, on my channels, and maybe you will just watch it from the air. Why not? So that's uh, that's something that I'm working on right now. Actually, if you guys don't know, because cloud to cable is a, is a patent technology, that patented technology that does specifically that reads a website, a web, a web widget with JavaScript and everything else, and converts that into a process called uh, uh, um, um, uh, packetization, and converts that into a multicast address at, that is mapped to a different channel. So that's what, in essentially what the main 
clean does of the path. And of course, there are other subclaims and dependent claims and other things that are, are uh, somewhat interesting for that. And I have an article written on my, on my, on my blog that I'm posting here as well. Where we do a comparison on how like the, the, the cloud to cable patents are, are comparable to the ATAC 3.0 or the next generation television. So that's um, that is it for now, guys. So, so if you want to a want to learn more about ATC 3.0 or Next Gen TV, uh, make questions right here, right there. If you want to uh, ask me about questions about the patents or how can you use them in your television system, or you want to test ATC 3.0, uh, also as well contact us here at the Eclavator. We're gonna start uh, promoting that that technology uh, thus far. And again. Thanks for watching Tech at TV. This is Dr. Edwin Hernandez. It was a pleasure to see you. Thanks for subscribing. Bye-bye.